Why, hello there YouTube and welcome to a revolting review. So, in this one I'm reviewing Ghostbusters 2. <laughs> so, this is written by Harold Remis and Dan Aykroyd and directed again by Ivan Reitman. And of course, it stars Bill Murray... Um, Dan Aykroyd, Sigourney Weaver, Harold Ramis, um, Rick Romanis, Ernie Hudson, and Annie Potts. So, uh, oh, and also it has in the um, yeah, also it has in the a new threat. So. Yeah, this is a supernatural, um, you know, comedy sequel where uh, the Ghostbusters gang are pretty much, you know, out of business. There hasn't been any paranormal sightings or encounters since the first movie and the guys have gone broke and they basically you know, I've got to, well, take on real jobs. Two of them, uh, Ray and Winston, uh, keep um, their career going by being kid party entertainers. And, um, you know, and, yeah. Also, um, Sigourney's character, uh, Dina, she has had a kid as well, a baby, and I'm oh, gone a moment. And of course, they, you know, obviously Peter and that haven't worked out. But then, of course, this strange gooey substance, this pink slime, starts appearing and wanting Dana's child Oscar. And also at the museum, there is this evil painting of the bad guy, our main antagonist, uh, Vigo the Comprehend, Comprehend, or Von Homburgs, who is an evil, you know, villain. <clears throat> Who swore he would come back and seek revenge? You know, and he's like within an evil painting, and of course he makes his way out into the world of the living to get his revenge and stuff, wanting baby Oscar. Of course, the Ghostbusters, they're gonna get back together. They don't let anything happen, you know, the Ghostbusters all form back together in the end because supernatural monsters are about, and of course the gang do what they do best, they bring the Statue of Liberty to life with the goo and they move it all the way to the museum to get into the museum, you know, because it's guarded by the gooey pink slime and of course the team do their ghost busting all on time for the new year. So that's probably the, that's the story there. So what did I like about this one? Well, there's that whole fan theory saying that at the end of the first Ghostbusters, they died and they're in purgatory. And the whole thing at the end with them singing all Lang Syne and defeating uh, Von, they, you know, finally can cross over to the afterlife. But um, also, there, you know, no one recall, recalls the events of the previous movie. Uh, I don't know why, but they just don't. Also, Rick Morales becomes a ghostbuster in this, but doesn't quite get in on the gang, get in the action and stuff in the finale. But still, we get more, you know, funny gags in here. We get, I think we get Slimer return, do we? One scene that did actually creep me out as a kid was the bathtub scene. I don't know if any of you know, but when the goo formed this that weird big gooey stuff and, you know, came out from the bath. That scene as a kid did scare me, but the rest of it kind of didn't. But yeah, this is a family film. It's a family series. You know, they keep it all PG. Uh, but of course, they say that this one wasn't as good. And because of this one not being as good, they never bothered with the series again, which I think is a bit of a shame. 
uh, but I, this was actually my introduction to Ghostbusters. I saw this one first, I don't know why, but I was a little kid, I didn't question that it was a sequel or anything, uh, but I, I enjoyed watching it. I, I did enjoy watching this as a kid, looking at it now, knowing what I know that it's a sequel, I can see that, you know, it's got, it's one of those things, you know, what the sequel things where the sequel doesn't always do as be better, do as good or as better than the original, but still, I find it a watchable one, a lot more than that 2016 one we got, which we'll have to go through next, but yeah, for now I'm talking Ghostbusters 2, I thought this still had some good visuals that hold up, the villain though, however, he did look intimidating with his fierce angry monstrosity look on him and how evil and monstrous he was yeah i i, I think they got you know, the look of the villain right we also had his old henchman thing uh, you know played by um by peter mccall mcnichol who plays uh Genzoza or something yeah, he was a good, like, good, like, typical, you know, funny henchman to the villain, but sees, but becomes, you know, the good guy. Well, he gets redeemed and stuff because he's under the villain's influence. Yeah, I, I did like this Ghostbusters, but I can see that, yeah, it is not as good as the first film. But is it a necessary sequel? Uh, it, it's okay. It, it's all right. Good. You know, like I say, the original series is 80s culture, and this just about made it in there, and probably why we would not get a sequel to this. Well, like I say, they had their difficulties, but you know what? I like Ghostbusters too, not as much as the first one, but I still like it. Ratings, what am I going to give it? I'll give it three and a half stabs out of five. Three and a half stabs out of five for Ghostbusters 2. So there you go, there's my review there. You know, as we continue my you know, build up to Ghostbusters Frozen Empire. So have you seen it? Let me know down in the comments below if you have. If you like this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Share with your friends and feel free to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and hit that notification bell. I've been Red and Russ and this has been a revolting review. So until next time, don't have nightmares.